Not the type of flexing that I thought was going to happen last episode. I thought we we're going to dunk on some demons, and we did. But technically, the flexing was more uh, stress relief because the other knights were kind of like flirting with our engaged. She's not engaged, but we put a ring on her. Sicily, looking real nice. Flashed a little bit too much cleavage. The knights are just head over heels. And then they were talking a lot of shit about, Oh, you only beat a demonoid. Oh, boy, knight. And then immediately what happens? A lesser demon, a boar shows up. They couldn't even beat it. Immediately gets roasted. Immediately understands the difference between shit and the rest of them. Now, we shouldn't shit on them too much. We need to be friends, right? We need to be like friends and make sure that everyone gets, you know, united and fights the demons. We got a little bit more of Strom stuff. Strom, uh, Zest, and the other girl, right? They're all pretty much demonoids and the Emperor is gone. So Strom is free to lead. Are we, is the war going to happen? Let's begin today's reaction. More demons? I'm spooked. Magic heart tearing as usual. Offering barriers. Get in there, knights. She gets the killing blow? Damn. I thought the blondie with the long hair is like the main character of the knights group, but it's like she gets the killing blow? All right. <laughs> Just the scratches. I'm surprised every one of them aren't being like, Oh my god, I'm so hurt right now. Please, I need some healing. I'm gonna lay down and you're gonna like, you know, come closer to me and like preferably bend over. <laughs> Nobody's lying about it? ようやく剣と魔法の連携のなんたるかが分かってきたってところか。それにしてもシン、お前はともかく魔法師団の実力上位者と変わらない。are they? Really? Kind of? 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 Kind それは真の魔法の軍事利用になる。ネタをすれば外交問題に発展するぞ。ジグフリ、just I mean, Strom already knows how powerful Shin is. I want Shin to pop off more, though. What is it? 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups. Okay. It's just magic control every day. What are we doing? Okay. Yes, yeah, them girls be thick, huh? The barriers are. Okay, okay. So, like, we've gotten better at it. Even they are casting barriers. That's really thick. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. It could be even more voluptuous, more thick. My man, you you can't be doing this. You got high school students. I don't know how actually old Siegfried is though. I I don't know. Maybe it's flushed. That's, I hope Siegfried and Maria are a thing. Cause like Maria gets fucked. She doesn't actually. Other than the bidet. What I mean is she gets cucked a lot. And I wanted her to have her own thing going on. You know, Shin and Maria not gonna happen. But Siegfried. You know what? You know it's like, whoa, let's go. くんねま終了だ。集合場所に戻るぞ。はい。受けて。熊の魔物を倒せた。いや。剣と魔法の連携の意味が。I what is this? Like kind of windbreaker plot, bro? He ran away. Oh my god. What? Uh... 
What was the runaway plot? It was Hiragi. Yeah, it was the heartburn guy. It was Hiragi and his junior. Big bro, how could you leave me? You went to a different school. Oh. Let the knight go in. Yeah, let him go in. Yeah. Mm, this gonna be good. The other nice bro, let's go. <laughs> nah, we shouldn't have saved them. Nah. Don't save him this time. Skill issue. Really? Skill issues in a different way, romantically and combat wise. Bro, just mad. That's <laughs> not gonna make him feel better about this. Yeah, I took his girl. You know, his girl, he was so obsessed with her. Yeah, we had to date her for like one time. I fucked her and I dumped her immediately. Not a big deal. Come on, bro. <laughs> Negative Riz. Negative Riz, bro. No one cares. Hey, don't lie up here! I... <laughs> Women! Sandwich! Housewife! Make my bed! Do my laundry! Jesus Christ! Let the demons just kill them all, man. Alright, we'll watch. We'll watch, alright. You're such a lollicon. <laughs> they called that main guy lollicon for hitting on the blonde girl first, dude. <laughs> alright, little dogs. Let them die. God, they suck. Yo. That one's straight up taking back shots right now from the dog demon, bro. <laughs> These the dudes that we're supposed to be fighting with? Come on, it's over. We are done, man. Let the, these knights are goofy as all fuck. Oh. Fuck. All right, everyone kind of chilled out. He's still mad, bro. Too easy. Way too easy. He's getting cozy. Yes, we did. Hand holding. Too lewd. Indirect kiss. Too lewd. He can't flex hard. You know? He's destroying too much, and his magic gotta be secret. So, okay. Special units. Basically, Shin's training has made all of these kids too powerful to be let alone. Now they need special like monitoring. They're like superhumans. All of them has become their own nuclear bombs. Now it's too dangerous, I see. I mean, they got cushy ass jobs now after. They got special teams and stuff. I want Shin to just like be the leader of the special unit, but like he can't join the military. That's the most important thing. But there must be some moment where Uncle Dis and Merlin comes, kind of comes to agree that like, yes, yes, it is bad to, you know, use Shin for military purposes. We talked about that, but because of whatever events that happen, Shin needs to step up and he needs to do it. So we're going to be forced to be dealt that. We're going to have to like be forced to play that hand. <laughs> I don't like limits. Let's go limitless. Og is holding us back. No poker face? The fastest intermission in the West. More training sessions? The lightning girl, bro. She's always out of control. 
Purely through understanding visualization of the process of the magic and increasing the magical cap or something every day, right? That's exactly what we're talking about. They are now at a different type of level entirely. An actual life for exercises by National Magic Division. We are beyond school level. Yo. Ignore the demonoid problem. You know what the bigger problem is in this world than the demonoids? It's Shin giving these people this kind of magic. I feel like our students are more dangerous to the world than the actual demonoids are. <laughs> Strom? Nah, Shin. Shin gotta be put in jail for this. ん?一般には公表され。電化、真だけじゃなく私たちもいるんですけど。分かっている。魔人と戦闘になった際、重要な戦力になってもらう。the empire is just pretty much all done except strong. Other nations unite coalition war. Again, like, demons are dangerous. Like, these kids are gonna be more fucking dangerous on an individual level after this. Alright, more special training. Summer break time. Are we going to get a summer festival? Yeah, beach episode, something like that? The beach, the beach. Beach, 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 beach. beach. The lands of someone who's here? A seaport. Close, close to a beach. Resort beach. Yeah. Yeah, everyone's gonna be in bikinis. Perfect. Even oh. better. Nah, nah, the beats, the skip. Hot spring. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Training at the hot springs, baby. Is the group coming? Is the grandma coming to the hot springs, too? <laughs> grandma could have shown that she got at the hot springs. <laughs> Who's supervising? You two needs to show up now. That's a good excuse for Grandma to show up. Oh boy. Merlin too. Right. I want to see Grandpa all jacked though, like a man thong. Synchronized. CGI horse and carriage. We should put that on slaves while they work on the fucking farmlands, bro. That's fucked up. Uh, Merlin did. Merlin did. Oh! Oh! Mm. Imagine if we use this on humans though, straight up. Like, Amazon factory workers. You don't need any more breaks. Nope, you can just wear this thing and this will keep you going. Like, holy shit. Holy shit. The disaster that would happen if a, if a technology like that got released where it basically just like rejuvenated. There'd be a lot of positives. There'd be a lot of negatives as well, yeah. Granny don't take compliments too well, huh? She really sucks at taking compliments. Tsundere. Medium sized demons. Demon hunting time. Ooh, wolves. Oh, merchants, we're gonna save them. Oh, how are we just playing a game to see who's gonna take those demons out, bro? Lightning girl, let's go! Damn, one versus everybody? What was 
that? I felt like we were waiting for someone to say Hajime, but then the blonde girl just sneezed and it just started the thing. Like, listen. Hajime! Flinch! There it is. <laughs> Not her panties! <laughs> what is this Ikemen looking pose? And all the wolves stacking on top of each other. We're insane. <laughs> These children are becoming super, super special. Hotspring <laughs> Town, bro. This shit is straight up, you know, Aqua's district. You know, the place with the fans, the, the crazy cult members in Konosuba. <laughs> Mayor's house. Oh, we're going to see their parents. <laughs> and we don't have parents, but we brought grandma and grandpa here. So it's almost like, you know... Girlfriend, boyfriend, parents kind of meeting, you know, and it's like they're gonna give us our blessing. It's like, oh my god, Sicily, I can't believe you brought a husband, you know? Yeah, we got some celebrities here. Oh <laughs> Long and happy life together. Now, where's the mom and dad? I want the blessings from the parents, bro. It's a sausage fest in here, man. Yeah, it is his fault, technically. If, oh, more dudes in here. Okay, I'm like, who are they talking to? But it's like, okay, these three were in front of us. Five. Too many dudes! しかし、I just realized this guy specifically talks in that the, not the dweeb way, but like if you're in modern day Japan and you say Sesha or like Gozaru, right? That's like the fucking super super weebs, right? Like the turbo weebs that says that shit. But back in the day, that's kind of like how samurai used to talk, right? But like this ain't samurai lamb, bro. This guy's German as fuck. Why is he talking like that? Push the way, I can see that. My grandson? Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Mm. It is very big. Yeah. Grandma. Alright. You can see grandma's legs. Alright, uh, Dan da Dan grandma? Or wise man grandma? I don't think that's a competition, right? Dan da Dan grandma, for some fucking reason, they hoard her out like crazy. Yeah, you got a great figure at the age of like, what, 97? What is that? Like a portable bike? A treadmill? Yeah? You're not gonna grow? That's a lie. That is 100% a lie. I don't think working out too much, you know, will make your breast smaller. I think that's a myth. In fact, there was, how many of you guys back in high school were told that if you worked out, you wouldn't grow? Like height-wise, for guys specifically. There is some partial truth there. And I think the science behind it is, if you were, like, overtly stressing out your body by doing squats then for some reason it could like stunt your growth i don't know how scientific that is but i have heard of these like i don't know if it's a myth or not but like it's always like yeah you better not do that shit or it's gonna make you fucking you know stunt your growth but i feel like height at the end of the day is just genetics it's what you eat and your genetics even if you're like deprived of good nutrition i think genetics plays a stronger role i don't know Genetics, just get lucky. <laughs> Another prey.
運動しすぎるとなぜ胸が小さくなるんですか脂肪が減るだろうだから運動しすぎる you know like I don't want to be disrespectful But we're gonna talk about this shit, so we're gonna talk about this shit. So if you exercise too much, you lose the fat in your breasts as well. How many times have you guys seen girls where you thought that she has super big tits, but she was just super fat? So like, there is some truth to it where, of course, a lot of fat's gonna get accumulated. But like, think about it like this, right? You have the base booba. You have this base booba, like the fundamentals, right? And nothing can really change that other than the, uh, like, like the genetics, right? And then once you have your base booba, if you, of course, eat a shitload of food, you get fatter, then yeah, the base booba will become enlarged and become more fat. But at the end of the day, if you're scared of doing exercises to burn off fat, like no matter how much you burn off fat, your titties are not just going to get all burnt off. I don't think it works like that, right? Like the base foundation is still going to be there. <laughs> Like, also, girls, like, um, girls actually do have a higher body fat percentage compared to guys. Um, I think the genetic reason for that is because their bodies needs to be, like, uh, 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 their, their bodies are, like, actually very hot. For example, there's a common saying in the sushi world, like, this is, we're going completely off topic, but a lot of sushi chefs are very, like, um, biased towards women sushi chefs because their hands, they're hot. Because their bodies have more fat and it's just like, it's like a higher rate of metabolism, it's just like burning. So their, their body's like a furnace. And because their hands are more hot compared to guys, the sushi, when you're making the sushi, it's going to be lesser quality for, for some reason. Because the guys, their hands are cold and sushi needs to be cold, served fresh. Anyways, body fat, um, like if you eat a lot of food, a lot of people, on, and it's all genetics, right? The fat gets deposited into different areas. Some girls can just eat a shitload and it'll go all to their titties. Some girls can eat a shitload and it'll go to all their face. Some girls can eat a shitload and go to ass. These different areas of your bodies of like fat, like um, again, um, depositing fat. Again, it's all just straight up genetics, right? Yeah, she found a husband. Yeah, and everyone else are just getting their life to set for success. Oh, my grandson has so many friends. Jesus, Grandma! We just talked about how important it is that we keep these kids low key and maintained. But like, if the grandma and grandpa are also gonna get involved in the training, they're gonna be absolute fucking monsters by the end <laughs> And you would think, and, and you would think that in a land of magic, they would have magic to like increase bus size. You know, like like one hundred percent, like the increased booba magic doesn't exist here. But you got a wormhole, you can fucking go back and forth. <laughs> I think grandma's groping the girls right now. And that is today's episode of Wise Man Grandchild with a complete turn of events at the end where we just got off topic and talked about the genetics and the physics and the biology behind the booba size. Anyways, um, you guys can do your own research on that. What was the point of today's episode? We wrapped up more of the night training with the mages to make sure that, you know, we can work in harmony. I... Two teams did well, the other team is still mad because we, you know, one of the guys just like fucked, fucked the girl and, you know, it just said, nah, he kissed the girl and just dumped her immediately or something. And then there was more talks about how, like, every members of our ultimate magic class are liabilities. They cannot be released into the world. These are dangerous beings that's gonna be treated like they're gods. So we need to make sure that they're, you know, monitored and put into a special team. And it'd be cool if Shin could be like a captain of that special squad, right? It's like the best, you know, fucking squad made up of our ultimate members. I think that would be sick. Uh, we went to the hot springs to just train. Uh, I wanted like a beach episode, but I'll take a hot spring episode. I think a hot spring may be even better than a beach. Anyways, we're gonna do some training in Merlin and, you know, Merida. They weren't supposed to be getting involved actively, but Granny is so happy that, you know, Shin and them are just hanging out so well. So she's like, fuck it, let's train all these kids and they're gonna be even more monsters. And that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.